So today I'm going to go up and take off a couple rounds of corn because we're going to take out a tree line up there with an excavator and Tractors in here for repair. Then those bad boys. And the cylinder got hurt, so let's get in. Fixed up at Steiger. Hopefully this thing starts up fine. And they add some diesel additive to it so it doesn't freeze up while I'm combining. These supposed to be below zero today, so gonna need some additive. And that should do it. That's all I'm gonna put in for now. And I'm gonna use starting fluid don't like to do it on engines unless you have to, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to on this. And I'll take that one off as well. You got nothing on me, nut. Usually I can turn it off with my hand, but I have to get a vice grip. You have to be careful if your engine has glow plugs. for using starting fluid because you can blow your turbos up, but this one doesn't have glow plugs that out of there. Then I'm just going to give this thing a little starting fluid.
glove back that's holding my phone there on video. Try to get that on and I might need to get a torch and heat it up so the grease moves. So I got that slide on there and locked now. Got the hoses on. Got the pin there. And now I need to go to the other side and put the other PTO on and the other pin. Alright, got it all hooked up. Now let's see if everything turns over fine. Well, there was one thing froze down. The hopper topper went open up, and I went up there. It's totally froze down. So hopefully it goes up now. Should be. I see light coming through. It's working. Coffee to warm up. Let's go head up to the field. Sun's out. A lot of snowmobile tracks in the ditches. Going to like a field that's like 10 miles away here, so it's going to take a little bit to get there. there. Got the excavator out over there. The snow is getting deep out here. I think we're going to back the truck into the driveway a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. as long as I'm out here too just to make sure it hasn't dried down at all but I don't think it probably has it's been so cold So it's nice having tree lines out here, but this is just the tree line that's kind of splitting up the field. So it's a lot nicer if you just have them on the edge and then you lose yield with your crop when you're splitting it up with the tree line. It doesn't get the heat, so the crop just doesn't do as well. And then also it just makes it a pain for running the planter or sprayer. It just cuts it up into smaller sections. So. Just taking out a few tree lines on our one field, or so. Heading back, gonna dump on the truck, and then gotta take a pass on the other side, and then I'm gonna take a strip out in the field to get a moisture sample. But we don't have the grain cart out here right now because that's still in the shed. See the snouts digging into the snow when I'm combining. Little trenches there. That's one way to load onto the truck, I guess. Didn't want to get it stuck in the field. Take the last pass. Gotta pull off the 
brakes quick. Don't want to send that through the combine. That's why we want to get rid of these tree lines. Learn a bit. 